Hello and welcome to this week's Wellness Wonder. Today we thought we'd bring you some seasonal horticultural cheer. It's early December and it's a crisp, cold but sunny morning and we thought we'd share with you some of the delights of the Winter Garden. For our wonder this week we're starting at the western entrance of the Winter Garden and you can't help but bring a smile to your face when you're greeted by this scene of brilliant colour on a glorious winter's morning. As you enter the Winter Garden, you're welcomed by two Daphne Bellua Jacqueline Postel, which stand sentinel at the entrance, and these will come into full flower later in the season. But heading through the Winter Garden, you're greeted by this great flurry of brilliant scarlet delivered by Cornus alba sibirica. And lovely to see here the bright flowers of Jasminum nudiflorum. And it's really worth just taking a pause every so often as you head through the winter garden to revel at the brilliant colour that the winter months deliver. And here, just picking up hints of sunlight, the naked stems of Phyllostachys aureosulcata aureocaulis. And this has been stripped of its lower leaves to reveal that caramelly coloured stem. Beautiful, particularly in this great light that we have this morning. And on the other side of the path, you can see here the lovely almond scented flowers of Viburnum bodnantensi dawn. And just picking up the sunlight, the beautiful feathery fronds of Miscanthus ferna austin. And this is really the beginning of the season for the winter garden, so we'll definitely be back to pay more visits here throughout the winter months. But it's great to also take in some of the early flowers, which include this magnificent specimen of Mahonia media winter sun, which has these lovely brilliant yellow racemes of flower. But even the things that aren't brilliant in colour provide fantastic valuable contrast at this time of year. So here you can see Festuca Glauca Elijah Blue, Helleborus Lividus, and also in contrast the green stems of Cornus Cerisea Flaviramia. And this just makes up a beautiful textural scene that you really want to rub your hands through as you wander by. And another great evergreen that's really bringing colour and interest, Formium Tenax Yellow Wave. And just beyond it, the delicate blooms of Prunus February pink here backlit, backlit as it was intended by the winter sun. And in recent weeks we've been bringing more interest to the winter garden and new plants. So here just looking through this drift you can see new plantings of Cornus sanguinea, Amy's winter orange and also some of the cardoons that we've introduced these brilliant thistle heads that you can see here in the centre of the plantings just to add another type of interest and form. 
and just to make out or highlight and revel in this glorious scene here with Rubus fernicolaceus in the foreground with these arching brambly stems, Acer grisium with its great papery peeling bark and this is offset by a backdrop of the wonderful Cornus midwinter flame. Absolutely glorious and hard really to believe that this is winter interest at its best. It really seems like a scene you'd expect to see in the summer garden. And again, over on the opposite side of the path, the brilliant stems of Salix vitellina britsensis with these orangey colourings having lost its leaves and really, really revelling in this glorious light today. And just wanting to pick up here and highlight this beautiful effect of the sunlight catching the peeling bark on the Acer grisium. And this was planted in this particular position to take advantage of this winter sunlight. And you can see that it really has worked. So 40 years ago, somebody had the foresight to think that we might be able to enjoy this today here in the garden. And as we head towards the end of the winter garden, we're just going to take in another of the viburnums. And I really ought to emphasise that actually this isn't just a feast for the eyes, but also a wander through the winter garden is a feast for the senses, and particularly the nasal senses, as there is so much scent offered here by these winter flowers. And one of the highlights of the winter garden here is this trio of Betula utilis Albo sinensis, which has this beautiful peeling bark which exposes almost a coppery colouring. Absolutely gorgeous and again really coming to the fore and being highlighted by this light. And we're just now going to take a step back to peer along the length of the main path through the winter garden just to take in that beautiful spectacle of colour, interest and form that winter can bring if you put some time and effort into it. I hope you've enjoyed joining me on this most glorious of winter days and hope you'll soon join me again soon. Thank you. Goodbye.